The Forgotten Books of Eden, the first book of Adam and Eve, chapter 1. God commands Adam, expelled from Eden, to dwell in the cave of treasures. On the third day, God planted the garden in the east of the earth, on the border of the world eastward, beyond which, towards the sun rising, one finds nothing but water, that encompasses the whole world, and reaches under the borders of heaven. And to the north of the garden there is a sea of wafer, clear and pure to the taste, like unto nothing else, so that, through the clearness thereof, one may look into the depths of the earth. And when a man washes himself in it, becomes clean of the cleanness thereof, and white of its whiteness, even if he were dark. For and God created that sea of his own good pleasure, for he knew what would come of the man he should make, so that after he had left the garden, on account of his transgression, men should be born in the earth, from among whom righteous ones should die, whose souls God would raise at the last day, when they should return to their flesh, should bathe in the water of that sea, and all of them reap of their sins. But when God made Adam go out of the garden, he did not place him on the border of it northward, lest he should draw near to the sea of water, and he and Eve wash themselves in it, be cleansed from their sins, forget the transgression they had committed, and he no longer reminded of it in the thought of their punishment. Then, again, as to the southern side of the garden, God was not pleased to let Adam dwell there, because, when the wind blew from the north, it would bring him, on that southern side, the delicious smell of the trees of the garden. Wherefore God did not put Adam there, lest he should smell the sweet smell of those trees forget his transgression, and find consolation for what he had done, take delight in the smell of the trees, and not be cleansed from his transgression. Again, also, because God is merciful and of great pity, and governs all things in a way he alone knows, he made our father Adam dwell in the western border of the garden, because on that side the earth is very broad. And God commanded him to dwell there in a cave in a rock, the cave of treasures below the garden.